breaking news. A man is dead this morning after police say he led officers on a chase, then engaged them in a shootout. ABC 13's Charlie Etsidi live now from Highway 90 and the Southwest Freeway, where Chief Troy Finner just wrapped up that news conference. Charlie. Yeah, good morning to you, Jacob. The chief had a lot of details to share with this investigation. And so you can see the scene is still very active out here. We are on Highway 90 at 59, and the chief says that investigators will remain out here likely for the next three to four hours. So a heads up if your morning commute takes you through this area. But as you said, this was a standoff that ended in a shootout with police. And we're told, according to the chief, the suspect inside of a vehicle fired first at police officers and then seven HPD officers fired their weapons in response, killing a 27-year-old man. So this all started, we've learned, at a Valero gas station several miles north of where we are at this morning off Sinot near the West Park Toll Road. Officers spotted a white Ford vehicle with several guns clearly visible in the car as well as some drugs. So this happened around 10 o'clock last night. Officers then waited for that suspect to return to that vehicle, and that suspect did around 1.15 in the morning. And at that point, Chief Finner says the officers were likely trying to wait to get the suspect away from innocent bystanders before trying to pull the man over. So a chase then started that lasted for about 20 minutes. Uh, crisscrossing the west side of Houston. It was during that pursuit we just confirmed an HPD officer was involved in an accident with innocent drivers, presumably trying to assist in this chase. That crash happened on the Beltway near Bissonnette, and thankfully we confirmed everybody involved in that is okay. Well, eventually this suspect stopped here at Highway 90 and 59, and Chief Finner says the suspect was the one who fired first, and then seven HPD officers fired in response, killing that man. It's not normal to have two guns uh, left in plain view with narcotics. So um, um, that's just part of our investigation. But that that, that did happen. Uh, we did put up surveillance. Um, um, we didn't stop him at, right at the gas station. You let him drive out. I, I imagine I wasn't over there. You try to get him away from uh, other citizens, okay, uh, for the safety. According to the chief, he says no police officers involved in this were injured. And so, of course, as is pretty typical with the situations where police officers are involved without firing their weapons while on duty, there are multiple investigations happening into this situation. And so we're told that DPS and the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office are the two main agencies leading the investigation. So obviously more details to come with this. Uh, we don't have an ID on the suspect who was killed out here, but of course we're working to confirm more information. We're, I'm going to toss it back inside to you. Charlie Entity, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. This here at Midday, I'm Lisa Hernandez. A 27-year-old man is dead after a chase and shootout with police. It ended near Highway 59 and Highway 90 in Sugarland. KPRC 2 News reporter Brittany Jeffers joins us live from that scene with the very latest here. Brittany? Yes, and Lisa, investigators have been here now for more than 10 hours. This is where that chase ended and that shooting happened. But investigators tell us that this all started about 20 minutes from here, originally on Sinop Road. Sirens wailing. This video shows a portion of the chase with a white vehicle followed by police cruisers with their lights on. Hours before this, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner says that officers spotted an assault weapon, a pistol and drugs in plain sight inside of that vehicle, which he says was parked outside of a Valero gas station at the 4000 block of Sinot. Officers say they set up surveillance and three hours later, around 1 a.m., Chief Finner says the suspect got into that vehicle and drove off. Officers tried to initiate a traffic stop. Suspect refused to stop. This sparked a 20 minute pursuit, which Finner says ended here at US 59 and Highway 90. According to police, the suspect fired his gun at officers. Seven officers returned fire, killing the suspect, who they describe as a 27 year old man. Video from the scene shows bullet holes on the suspect's vehicle and windshield. During the course of this incident tonight, uh, the suspect was on the phone with his family members. Uh, they were here on the scene. And uh, I ask that we pray for, understand uh, the mother was probably at home. Um, a girlfriend and I think his sister was here actually on the scene uh, where everything ended. So we ask for prayers for that family and also our officers. 
And I did check in with an investigators. And at this point in time, the suspect's name is not being released. In the meantime, per HPD uh, policy, those seven officers will be placed on administrative leave during this investigation. DPS, as well as the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office, will be leading the criminal investigation in this case. Live from Sugar Land, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. And you're trying to catch him. I get that. But all of this could have been right there at the Bolero. It did not have to be out in the streets during a police chase. You watched the car for three hours. You couldn't catch him walking up to the car and catch him uh, before he got in the car to take him on this big, long 20-minute uh, police chase. And now he's talking on the phone to his girlfriend or a family member. He's speeding, driving, or running from you, the police, and he's shooting at the police. Yeah, I'm going to need to see some body cam footage. And allegedly, maybe he's buying or selling drugs. And you're trying to catch him. I get that. But all of this could have been right there at the Bolero. It did not have to be out in the streets during a police chase. You watched the car for three hours. You couldn't catch him walking up to the car and catch him uh, before he got in the car to take him on this big, long 20-minute uh, police chase. And now he's talking on the phone to his girlfriend or a family member. He's speeding, driving, or running from you, the police, and he's shooting at the police. Yeah, I'm going to need to see some body cam footage. I will keep an eye on this case because it makes no sense. It sounds like a big cover-up to me, allegedly, with the Houston Police Department. And if it's not, if it, it just don't sound right. It don't add up. It makes no sense. It makes no sense, and it don't add up. Now, here goes the rest of the video, and you can hear what uh, this young man, family members, have to say about it. And uh, we'll keep an eye on the story. Y'all need to do better out there in the world. And that goes for the police and everybody else. Get y'all shit together and quit conjuring up stories that make no sense whatsoever. Even if, if, even if this story is exactly what the police say, it just makes no sense whatsoever. Who leaves two weapons and drugs in plain view sight of anybody walking by that vehicle? Who does that? Damn. Welcome to Straddled Events. On this channel, we bring you the truth. Sometimes the truth is quite ugly, unbearable, and you just don't want to deal with it. But on this channel, you're going to get it anyway. You are straddled the fence of good versus evil, right versus wrong. And on this channel, we're going to tell you to do better. Please like, dislike, subscribe, and share the videos. Now let's go. Tonight, we're hearing from family members of a man who was shot to death after leading Houston police on a high-speed chase early this morning. Good evening, I'm Caroline Collins. And I'm Rashi Vatz. Now, we know that Fox 26's Dom Lake Heath has been following this story, joins us now live outside HPD headquarters with where the investigation stands now. Yeah, the Houston Police Department is conducting an administrative investigation, but the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office, along with the Texas Department of Public Safety, which is taking the lead, those two agencies will be looking into this morning's deadly fatal officer-involved shooting that left a 27-year-old man dead. This high-speed chase came to a deadly end after 20 minutes here on 59 at Highway 90 in Fort Bend County with 27-year-old Tycorius Walker shot to death inside his vehicle. He was a great father. He was a strong-minded individual. He had a good heart. 
It started with Houston police officers spotting an assault rifle, drugs, and a pistol inside a parked car with no one inside at a gas station on Sinat Road around 10 p.m. Tuesday. The officers set up surveillance until Walker returned to the car around 1.15 a.m. and drove away. The HPD officers tried to pull him over in a traffic stop, but Walker led police on a chase. That's not serving and protecting. When, when they knew them guns was in that car, they should have seized the vehicle with the guns in it before you put him in a position to pursue him and say he had a gun and shot. You don't know if those guns are legal or not. So for you to chase him out the lot, that means you identified him to that car already. That could have been prevented. HPD Chief Troy Finner, who's, quote, asking for prayers for everyone involved, says Walker shot first and the officers returned fire. Walker was on the phone with his girlfriend during the chase and as he was shot to death. You know, let's make it make sense. It, it doesn't even sit right. You're not, driving on the phone. You're not driving on the phone and shooting at the same time. We all for the police, but police right. If we're going to police, if you're going to police, don't mean we got to lose our brothers, you know? Like, we, we don't, our brothers don't have to die in the midst of you policing. Now, seven Houston police officers were involved in the shooting. It is policy for them to be placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Reporting live in downtown Houston, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.